Hello, this is Nyx, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. We're here with our little guy, whose name I forgot, sleeping on the stairs. <laughs> Hello. Are you ready to go? Alright. Anyways, we're about to head on into school, but it looks like we got some interesting characters up here. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Uh, let's help her out. Huh? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're team, sc we're team star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody! Here, I'm finally part of team star and still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, can't we just let something like this slide? The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle. Yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Alright, battle time. Oh, Shrewdle. Well, guess what? We've got our own Shrewdle. And I found out that some of my Pokemon actually did learn new moves, but it was because I was using the Let's Go. They don't learn them automatically. So I had to go through my Pokemon and change out a bunch of their moves. But they should be quite a bit stronger now. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Eric, why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, she beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now, since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Nyx. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Um... Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to press pe pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to, tr for you to try my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. Can we terrestrialize? Ooh, we got a Terra Orb. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with her Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places and battle. What's a terrestrialized Shrewdle gonna look like? I like that little poison skull and crossbones hat. Alright, Shrewdle. Knock him out. Easy. Why is she, like, cheering when her friend lost? Nice, Nyx. You pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too, hasta la vista. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Uh, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. I see. Oh, look at you, Nyx. Already becoming a big hero around campus. 
I don't think I've seen that girl, ar girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seem like the tr seems like the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. <laughs> There's a side up. Here we are, Nick's Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Maybe because people are trying to get through here? <laughs> Miss Nix, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion rank student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Nix? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in the town, Dis Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Nix flexed on them and they ran off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Nix. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our, at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A next. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Woo, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Cool. Er, could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Um, sure, I'm Nyx. Did you hear that? She seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Nix. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me. Can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Battling, collecting, playing, everything. Really? Awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Nix. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Um, I don't know. Fair, I get it. The possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Nix. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat. Second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Nyx, hey. Who was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is. Well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool, practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked you what your dream is? If you're still trying to decide what it is you're looking for, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Hmm, I think that'll be fun. Oh wow, hang on though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battle battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. 
And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the Champion Assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get, not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing that we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'll be able to get even stronger if you and I are working both, both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app, in case you decide to go for it. Victory Road. Give it some thought. Alright, let's see if we can talk to Arvin back here. Uh, he doesn't look like he's ready to talk. Arvin. Oops. I'm talking to a combi. <laughs> Arvin, do you want to talk to me? There we go. Got his attention. Oh, hey. So we meet again. You remember me, right? From the lighthouse? Or, I don't think we've met. What? Come on. I gave you Koraiden's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, the name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name. Nyx, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. New kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Um, what's your dream? <laughs> caught your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? Found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick off of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. Interesting. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dunfan. Yet differences, such as its sheer size and the shape of its back, set it apart, as do its great tusks. Hmm. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either, and I've never heard the end of it. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you, Waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Oh, why not? Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Let it stew a bit and we can get more into the details later, and in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Some stardust. Nice. Anything else? Give the idea some serious thought, please. I think Arvin's a little embarrassed to be asking for help. <laughs> Alright, where to next? Oh, our phone's ringing. This is Nyx, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Um, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, 
There's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Nix, you know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Um, I suppose so. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Interesting. Ah, uh, Miss Nix. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the, it, within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young lady. I wonder who that person who called us is. Team Star, you say? Calling Miss Nix to the director's office, please. Once again, Miss Nix to the director's office, please. Interesting. I guess we're gonna have to go see the director. We just were talking to the director. Thank you for coming, Miss Nix. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? Yes, I have. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. <laughs> ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Are we gonna meet this person? Oh, is it the professor? Hello, Nyx. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Interesting. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Nix, student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koraiden, is that correct? Uh, yes? Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, uh, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? Hey! It's Koraiden. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. <laughs> Koraiden was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Koraiden on my behalf? Uh, sure thing. I do appreciate your agreement. Koraiden has been greatly weakened is in, and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobili mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information, if you would please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. And tell them. Interesting. So are we going to be able to ride Koraiden now? Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Hmm, 
what did Sada do? Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Koraiden. Alright, is that everything then? Ooh, look at all these Pokeballs. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Nyx. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Ah, <laughs> kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Nyx. Let's go check it out. Ta-da! From today on, this is your room, Nyx. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all this. All this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then, at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Alright, let's go see what that's all about. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokémon that live here. And get to know the people, too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokémon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young tra trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! Nix, Nix! The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. So what are we supposed to be doing in this treasure hunt? The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me, for sure, got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Absolutely. You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. Heh, <laughs> how for... How's that for student council president giving your own friends an insider advantage? Arvin? Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that she go- she checks out the gyms. It's up to Nyx whether she goes. 
Nick's gonna have her handful searching out Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are gonna be too vi busy visiting the layers of Titans and nabbing the their Herba Mystica. In serio, don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. It's still up to Nyx whether she goes, right? Ugh. Hmm? Nyx, your phone's ringing. Hey, Nyx. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? In Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Nyx's problem. That's right, because she's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Nyx to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? <laughs> How do you know my- I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Nyx. Bye. What was that all about? Nyx, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Alright. Oh, and... I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do, Nyx. Go where you want, and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, er, my big dream, tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. <laughs> I think Raiden wants a sandwich. Ugh, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. Aww. It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Nyx? Are we gonna have- Yay, we can ride a Koraiden. Alright, Koraiden. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird Salizar. As long as you got Koraiden, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. Huh, <sighs> yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Nyx is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Ugh, <sighs> man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Um, uh, maybe not with the little buddy thing? I'll head to a gym. See you around, Nyx. Alright, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> so I think we're going to head out to Area 2 then first, but that'll have to be in the next episode. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>